Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Johnny Glock. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my uh, co-worker, who, who remains nameless. Uh, you know, we get all amped up here on uh, chocolate and parfaits and whatnot. A quick draw defense in Venice, Florida. Anyway, um, this is part three of the uh, Gen 5 series. Uh, these guns are finally finished. I've put my stamp, my papal blessing on them. So uh, I'm going to bring the camera down and uh, let me just say a couple things first. Um, the Gen 5s, not a lot of people know this, but you have to get specific sights for the Gen 5. I found that out. I had to reorder some stuff. So there's some specific sights that you have to get for that. They are a little, um, the way they're designed is a little bit different. Number two, um, parts are available from Glock. So I'll be having these kits um, available for drop-in. Um, the two gentlemen that sent me these guns, it was because the uh, parts weren't available yet, but unbelievably, they are available. Uh, I'd like to shout out to Dawson Precision. Uh, one of the sites that I put on here is from them, and they also have, um, they already have uh, magwells for the Gen 5s, which is awesome. So I got a, um, whatever it's called, a, a dealer thing with those guys, so I can start getting uh, their, their stuff. They're an awesome company, man. They, um... You know, how, when you order sights, you, they, they have the pusher and the sight tool. Those are those little things that like, wow, that's, this company actually has it together. So um, I couldn't say enough about them. There's the name right there, Dawson Precision. And uh, the phone numbers and all that on there. From Texas, what do you expect? Anyway, <laughs> so um, yeah, both these triggers came out amazing and they are designed differently for the different shooters. Um, the one that has the stippling that I'll show you, um, which is Chris's gun, he wanted it to break sooner, okay? The reset wasn't as much of a, um, wasn't as of much importance to him, even though the reset, yeah, those are the kind of things we do when we talk on the phone, you know, get these specifics. So um, the break, quicker break was more important. With Tim's gun, he wasn't worried about that, so, um, you know, the, and he was more worried about the reset, so, and actually, you know, two and a half pounds, come on, you know what I mean, the reset is, um, is slamming on it, and, uh, and so is the break, but it's, it's exactly, it's, it's how you guys want it, you know what I mean, so that's how you get it, you know, it doesn't matter what I want, I just do exactly what you tell me to do. Um, so, I'm gonna bring the um, camera down, and we're gonna take a look at these. And there's a bunch of stuff here today. Okay, so uh, this is another product I really love is Cleanse Oil. Uh, some of you have been getting kits. I send it in the kit with you um, just as a uh, courtesy so you could check it out with some of their, um, whatever it's called, literature. So I can't say enough about these guys. I used them steady for about three months. And uh, after that kind of testing, man, I'm, I'm convinced they're, they're great. They're veteran owned, which is always cool. And um, yeah, Cleanse Oil Dawson doing a little bit of selling today. So anyway, that's those parfaits, man. So here we go. So uh, this is the this is the Gen 5 that we talked about, and there is the Dawson sights right here, which are I really like them. You know, they have uh, a lot of different models and and whatnot to choose from. So uh, check that out. Um, here is the 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 model that the one that he wanted the break to happen quicker. So if you see we get on here, there's no pre-travel right on the wall, but then from there, it's a quick break. And it is stopping, um, you know, it, it stops well before the, I'll bring this. It stops well before it hits the, the guard. Right there, okay. So it's stopping well before it's hitting the guard. And uh, we all know if there was over travel, this like a typical block, it would go all the way back to the guard. So, um, and then your reset is there. So what I'm saying, so from the break, if you would measure the reset from the, where it's breaking right here, and I always back my finger up because I don't want to go over it, that's it. I mean, it's not, it's, it's just a hit. When I, sometimes I get stuck into this. It's an entire 164th longer, you know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes you can split hairs with this kind of stuff. Um, and I, I, 
you know, it's just the nature of the beast sometimes when, um, when you're doing this kind of work that you start to think everyone thinks in those types of terms, which is good for you, you know, that I, that I, that I tighten things up that much. But, um, you know, 132nd, 164th to the finger can't even tell the difference in that. So I'm going to do a pull test here. And uh, right there, we are at, see if we can get it, a little bit over two and a half, two, seven, five. This is with a four and a half pound, same thing. I mean, it's going to pull, you know, exactly same right there. So these, these are consistent too, pull to pull to pull to pull. I'm gonna try this anyway, just to say, just to say I did it for three. Oh, hat trick. Exactly the same every single time. And that's, uh, that's, that's a beautiful thing, because that's what you want. You want consistency, your reliability, and predictability. So um, that's the nuance with this gun, that it was breaking quicker right there, up front. Um, like I said, the reset is an entire, probably 132nd longer, and, and that is Chris's gun. And then here's Tim's gun, and um, with this one, it, he wasn't too concerned with uh, the break. He was really, he, he wanted the reset, and like I said, at two and a half pounds, so from here, you're breaking, and you can see it's, it's just, a, breaks a little bit further back than this one, but the reset on this one is very short. I'm going to tell a photo of this one too so um so here's your break so you can see there's some movement to that break and so a little bit of a your, there's your wall right there and then break and then try to get this in there reset break reset break reset break so and this is let's back it out to the wide angle I think I'm getting a little gut here, man. I gotta trim it up. Too much parfait action. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, do do the, the pull test on this and see where this is. Holy mackerel! It's uh, right about a little bit over two and a quarter, just about two something. Not two and a half, that's for sure. Number two, same thing, under two and a half, right over maybe a whole entire half an ounce off or something. And then same thing here. So like I said, you know, these are, it is, it's important that, you know, we have these discussions. Um, let me see, uh, well, why does we get have these discussions on the uh, nuances? You mean get your, your you're, you're spending good money, hard-earned money on these guns and the, new, and the stuff that I do to them. So, it, you know, like I always say this in the videos, it like just behooves you to give me a call uh, so we can, you know, really nail these things for you. Because as you can see, they are doable. They are completely doable in a variety of different ways. And um, what else here? So, and the same thing, you know, like the, you usually have to average, the average of three pulls is usually what people do. But as you can see, all three pulls were the same exact number. And I'm sure what will happen is over the next, uh, you know, 500 rounds or so, they're going to drop even more. They're going to get even sweeter. Um, I bring them in as tight as I can for what the end use is. And I let, uh, you know, the gun do the rest. Um, as far as the Gen 5s, like I said, I'm uh, I took these to the range uh, this week and, and just, I mean, I put probably, because I just loved shooting them, you know, I probably put 100 rounds through each one. And uh, like I said, I'm, the more I shoot them, the more I'm impressed with the, with the whole design of the Gen 5. Um, these are both 17s. I haven't had the chance yet to, um, you know, really get my hands on too many 19s that I could actually go to the range and shoot. So, um... But these 17s both turned out cherry, man. They're awesome. And uh, that's kind of like, the, I did, this is the third part. I wanted to make sure I followed through with the one, two, three thing. And uh, yeah, like I said, the kits are available now. So if you want a um, Gen 5 drop-in kit, give me a call and uh, we can get that working out. And other than that, that's 
It's gonna be a short one today, man. I'm not gonna harp because I have like literally I gotta get this thing eaten before it's time to leave. <laughs> and I have uh, Marciano cherries on my breath or something like that. So um, www.johnnyglocks.com is the website. You're on the YouTube channel. Phone number is 941-376-4383. Um, give me a call. Just give me a call and we'll uh, talk about talk about the guns and uh, how you want the triggers to go and all that other kind of stuff. All right. Take care.